James Badge Dale American Actor James Badge Dale is an American actor. He is best known for his roles as Chase Edmonds in 24, Robert Leckie in The Pacific, Trooper Berrigan in The Departed, Luke Lewandon in The Grey, Eric Savon in Iron Man 3, and Tyrone S. Roan Woods in 13 Hours. Born, May 1, 1978, age 46 years, Manhattan, New York, United States. Partner, Emily Wickersham. Height, 1.78 meters. Parents, Grover Dale, Anita Morris. Children, 1. James Badge Dale is an accomplished American actor, known for his versatility in film, television, and theater. He was born as James Badgett Dale on May 1, 1978, in New York City, New York. He comes from a family with strong ties to the entertainment industry. His father, Grover Dale, is a renowned choreographer, dancer, and actor, and his mother, Anita Morris, was an acclaimed actress and singer known for her work on Broadway. Despite the influence of his parents' artistic careers, Dale's path to acting wasn't straightforward, as he initially had other interests, such as ice hockey, early life and education. James Badge Dale grew up in New York City and had a fairly typical childhood, aside from the fact that he was surrounded by the arts due to his parents' work. He attended Manhattan's Professional Children's School, which helped nurture his creative talents. His first significant foray into acting came when he was only 10 years old, when he was cast in a starring role in the film Lord of the Flies, 1990, a cinematic adaptation of William Golding's classic novel. Dale played Simon, a pivotal role in the film. This early experience gave him a glimpse into the world of acting, but it did not immediately spark a lifelong career. After the film, he returned to normal life and focused on his education and athletic career. Dale was passionate about ice hockey and went on to play competitively while attending Manhattanville College in Purchase, New York. However, his sports career was cut short due to a serious knee injury forcing him to pivot away from hockey and reconsider his career path. Early Career With his ice hockey aspirations dashed, Dale returned to acting in the early 2000s. His early years in Hollywood saw him working steadily, but in relatively low-profile roles. He made guest appearances in various television shows, including Law & Order, Special Victims Unit and CSI, Miami. He gradually built a resume with supporting roles in independent films and television projects. His breakthrough came in 2006, when Dale was cast as Robert Leckie, one of the main characters in The Pacific, an HBO miniseries that depicted the experiences of U.S. Marines during World War II. Produced by Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks, the series received critical acclaim and was a turning point for Dale's career. His portrayal of Leckie, based on the real-life Marine and author of Helmet for My Pillow, showcased his range and emotional depth as an actor. The Pacific became a major success, both commercially and critically, and earned Dale widespread recognition. Family Children Cassius Wickersham Dale Parents Anita Morris Grover Dale Rise to Prominence Following the success of The Pacific, Dale's career momentum picked up significantly. He landed key roles in several high-profile films, often playing complex characters with moral ambiguity. One of his notable performances came in the 2011 film Shame, directed by Steve McQueen and starring Michael Fassbender. Dale played Fassbender's character's boss, adding a nuanced layer to the film's exploration of addiction and isolation. In 2013, Dale appeared in a series of blockbuster films that solidified his status as a versatile and reliable actor. He played supporting roles in Iron Man 3, where he portrayed the villainous Eric Savon, a soldier transformed by the extremist serum, and World War Z, where he played a tough U.S. Army Ranger in a post-apocalyptic zombie-infested world. That same year, he appeared in The Lone Ranger, directed by Gore Verbinski, as Dan Reed, the older brother of the titular character, played by Army Hammer. His ability to switch between blockbuster action films and independent dramas made Dale a sought-after actor. He appeared in The Walk, 2015, a biographical drama about tightrope walker Philippe Petit, where he played the role of Jean-Pierre, one of Petit's loyal accomplices. 
In 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi, 2016, directed by Michael Bay, Dale portrayed Tyrone S. Woods, a former Navy SEAL who was part of the security team during the Benghazi attack. The role earned him praise for his dedication to portraying real-life military personnel with authenticity. Notable Television Roles While Dale has enjoyed a successful film career, he has also made his mark in television. After the success of The Pacific, he continued to take on challenging roles in series that showcased his range. In 2010, he starred in Rubicon, a conspiracy thriller on AMC where he played Will Travers, an intelligence analyst caught up in a complex web of government intrigue. Though the show was cancelled after one season, it garnered a cult following and was praised for its slow burn tension and cerebral storytelling. In 2016, Dale appeared in the television series Happen Leonard, playing Howard, a war veteran and former criminal, in a recurring role. The series, based on the novels by Joe R. Lansdale, was set in 1980s Texas and followed two best friends embroiled in crime and mayhem. In 2020, Dale starred in the Amazon Prime series Hightown, playing Detective Ray Abruso, a gritty, morally conflicted law enforcement officer involved in drug and murder investigations. His performance earned him praise for bringing depth and complexity to a role that could have easily been one-dimensional. Personal Life James Badge Dale has kept much of his personal life out of the public eye, preferring to maintain a low profile, despite his growing success in Hollywood. He is known for his dedication to his craft and his willingness to take on physically and emotionally demanding roles. In interviews, Dale has spoken about how his early life, including the influence of his parents and his experience in the world of ice hockey, helped shape his work ethic and determination as an actor. Although Dale doesn't often discuss his personal relationships, in 2022, he welcomed his first child, a son, with his partner, actress Emily Wickersham, known for her role in NCIS. Style and Influence James Badge Dale has been described as an actor who brings a rugged realism and emotional vulnerability to his performances. His roles often explore characters who are deeply flawed, struggling with moral dilemmas, and facing inner conflicts. While he is known for his work in action and thriller genres, Dale has also shown his ability to delve into more nuanced, character-driven stories, legacy and impact. As of 2024, James Badge Dale continues to build on his impressive career, with a range of film and television projects that highlight his versatility. Though he may not be a household name like some of his contemporaries, his body of work demonstrates a commitment to challenging roles, and he is highly respected within the industry. Whether playing a troubled soldier, a hardened detective, or a villain in a superhero film, Dale brings intensity and depth to every character he portrays. His ability to move seamlessly between different genres, from big-budget films to intimate dramas, cements his place as one of Hollywood's most reliable and talented actors. Trivia Mother was actress Anita Morris. Played hockey for the Utah Valley Golden Eagles, Junior A, and for a Division III college was often teased by his classmates after they saw his performance in Lord of the Flies, 1990. Expecting first child with partner, actress Emily Wickersham, 2021. Father is actor-slash-dancer, Grover Dale, born Grover Robert Aitken. Attended Manhattanville College in Purchase, New York. Son, Cassius Wickersham Dale was born on December 30, 2021. Child's mother is actress Emily Wickersham. Oh, <laughs>